I'll read the first section of the new book. The title of the first section is Theopathy. I returned and saw that the garden had not moved from me, but that some illness of the garden carried it away from me regardless. I saw its mountain run to dissolution, whose bright garment flown from it in shame, whose hillsides lay uncovered, sodden, drawn and beaten irons, pestering and humbling the soil, did recreate their brutal education. All Nevada wept ill-colored water. From the earth's midsection, giant engines, dull, compacted slugs of gold removed. Offering no resistance, random night, come at this odd hour, out of nowhere, one by one the lesser cattle took their knees amid contaminated forage, depressed their breathing, and put out their eyes. I have this against you, Westerners. Because the maker could but ill depict the foot, his servants he provided shoes, each according to his rank in service. For that his genitals wrecked miracles aposomatic on the vulgar mob, in lingerie and cutlery he schooled them. Lord, they cried, confer unto us freshness, tone us, for suffering overwhelms us. We contemplate diversionary graven markings on our chests and Monty's pubis. Lasciate ogni esperanza, whatever to break the skin. You are critical, Lord. Sneakers, furlongs from your shoulders. Behold, that the lesser among ye shall wear the feet of the greater on your shoulders. Track lit, bending down in aerosol bombed cloisters over beeswax and with Pakistani steel shall ye attend their bodies and in silence. We have no rest. Wakeful is our enemy. Neither solitude. Oh, he is many. No dark chamber, for iniquity is always working. Sad irony. We barter enmity for enmity. Alone. Alone we sing close harmony. Walk away, Anthony. Walk away alone among the lilies of the valley of the shadow of mortality, on water deleterious to memory, unaffected by renown or money, loving every person equally. Go now, Tony, else you got to stay, Tony. Fix a stocking to the chimney, decorate a tree this holiday. Artificial is the only way to fly. Walking is the best activity. In your sleep is the better way. Because what other doctor had enough skill to diagnose the animal solely on the basis of its cries, could waltz into the past with a serenity reserved for things familiar, you might say psychiatry chose me. The nights continued to require of me. Huddled closely, I conserved that resource, long wave energy. At night, the earth emitted it like darkness visible upon the skin. The school emitted it, long nights I repented at its wall. To serve a universe so meagerly illumined, I proposed a global form, encircled by straight lines, whose center held all places at all times whose silence grew apparent as if to impugn my grasp of a complicated situation. Weightless as holy text, more difficult to store, unknown in its particulars, in a general sense more familiar, broad-beamed, tactful, cool, expressionless, lightly and in turn striking the tents the night went on along established lines. At one point she upset a bottle full of Tylenol onto an empty stomach, said nothing, collapsed a final window, and sat down on the ottoman to wait out what appeared to be a test 
of emergency broadcast systems. By that time, she was inconsolable. There was coffee on the console table if you were interested, magazines of rare sophistication. I was listening. Her poetic diction was impeccable. She was what you'd call an intellectual. My meter must be breaking, for it calls this brightness insupportable, Sila. The greenness of green grass is almost like a form of speech I almost heard. The intimacy of the air approaches frontal nudity, and I am almost, I am having a mild religious experience. I fear no agony, but comprehend a universal wavelength in the rippling of sunlit water. I stand stricken by the bodied water. The risen sun treads down the standing wave. With what dread radiance do you embody light in August, Anthony? You shine more energetic spectra through the darkness of your servants' bodies than your servants can sustain. Why is it night already? Why did our house fall down? Elvis was in a better place. <laughs> the style of the dog was naturally beautiful. The habit of travelers in service of God, the cowgirls under the stars, the students caught as catch could, rushed, anonymous, ever wakeful, bright, obedient, lightweight, manually retractable. They spent weeks in this attitude. For a time they were like floating. Drunk persons staggered homeward through a gloaming, no home to them despite the many ways they sought shelter there as if it were. Perhaps I will go. I am tired of what sets us apart from animals, when everyone can clearly see a music of her own invention in the shelter of Petrushki station, slowly sipping aftershave all afternoon. Trying to stop the music when it struck him, when it glanced away, embarrassed, wrongly termed, wronged for stars, immobilized beneath his baneful repertoire, a gentle rain of frogs and minor animals whose voices were their names, aflame, belts of debris falling piecemeal to London, London lit for days on end, days without end. Endless vowel shift entitled water, bright water entitled to the valley floor, birds departing as if suddenly made apprehensive of their nakedness. It was the first time he had seen in fiction something that was not there. The birds have flown away, he observed. How could they ever have flown away? How envision a scenario in which the birds could possibly prove useful? To value what does not exist over and against what does is atheism in general form. Prefer the world, you deny God. Six-sided, regular, evincing perfect uniformity of difference, his servants motion to suppress the land. In all respects save one, identical, his servants condescend to touch the ground. Like a glove, his servants fit the ground. The nature of the glove is to be left behind herself by someone traveling under an assumed identity. Under the identity, the cold induces every servant to assume. It is difficult to put help into words. Good help show the whites of their eyes. It is the servant's nature to have sense enough already to have called for help. He offered her a cigarette the end, holding it gingerly to her skin. He held it gingerly to her skin, for she had not the use of her hands. Let's turn ourselves in. Let's turn each other in. It's your decision. It's a destination wedding. There's no longer any point pretending you and I are not in motion through what we cannot call oblivion, which will be remedied by mourning, certain as solar kiliads continue shining. It is as though the physicists have known sin. It is the ultimate occasion. 
even the animals after their fashion, laying in cold stores of local ocean water, go about their celebration, some because they have no reason. Sweater and neurotic Fantocini <laughs> bicker constantly, acromegalic, solitary, and delusional, yet enough possessed of his senses to confabulate a meeker partner of proportions like unto his own, a Thracian god for Thracian purposes who kept 10 million children calm from his studio's bad privacy, here retires off stage to groom himself, <laughs> compulsively to ogle poultry, trade the bearded grouch small favors for small rock. The grouch besought that rock to cover him, to conceal from him his vengeful god, while hourly underground where it was warm, young women found fresh trauma to relive, young men teased medicine into their arms. I have this against you, Easterners. <laughs>